I'm Robert Anderson, Vice President of Integrated Practice for Nemajek Vectorworks. Today we're going to do a demonstration on how to use Vectorworks to create sample geometry for a new uh, and exciting initiative put together by Building Smart Alliance called SPY. SPY is an acronym for Specifiers Properties Information Exchange and it seeks to combine interoperable geometry with standardized non-graphic project data for construction projects. A series of prototypical SPY data templates have been created and are available at the Building Smart Alliance website, which we'll show at the end of the presentation. The information contained in SPY geometry has been developed with an eye to the future. The geometry is interoperable using the industry standard IFC schema, and the intent is to support not only geometry and data, but intelligent connections. So the products represented in SPY format can become functioning parts of building systems and can have their installation and operating clearances clearly defined. For Vectorworks, converting highly detailed manufacturing geometry such as one might obtain from an MRP system into BIM data is a straightforward five-step process as shown. Let's look at the process in some detail with an example. So our example is a gimbaled aimable light fixture as one might install into a theater and obviously it has a lot of detail, a lot of louvers, it's got a it's got a hexagonal uh, protection grid, which I guess is chicken wire, uh, Fresnel lens. Clearly, uh, the kind of geometry that would not be useful uh, in an architectural model. So what we want to do is sketch a model over the top of this highly detailed model that we've imported using IGES, using our native tools, and then export this, uh, what we're going to call a caricature, to IFC, which then is, would be an appropriate level of detail to use either as a generic object or even as a, as a product model uh, in a very large architectural model which might involve hundreds of these. This is really about decluttering and simplification. So here's our geometry and we can see it's it got a lot of snap points and things like that. We're going to use just a simple circle sketching tool and the automatic working plane setting to quickly sketch a cylinder over the top of our model and the cylinder is going to be the main body of the device. So we're in centerline mode. We sort of find an appropriate working plane. It gives us the right. We see that the working plane gives us the right axes. Uh, we draw, uh, snap to an appropriate point on the rim to get something about the right size, and use the automated uh, extrusion or the automated uh, push pull, which is really part of the drawing tool now to get something that's about the right size out there as a as our cylinder and we'll use the push pull tool to bring the front edge out to the right to the right location that looks about right and now we're going to so that that sort of goes edge to edge on the rim uh, we'll draw a second circle on the face of this first circle just to get something that's going to be, give us a recess and we'll extrude it also in the depth into the depth a little bit and then use an, a solids operation to subtract the two so there we have our uh, the general body uh, of our light fixture let's let's spin around and so we can more easily tell which is the business end of the light fixture and give this backside a nice fillet which is an approximation of what's going on with the blue geometry that you see beyond. We, ch we select fillet edge and choose the, the edge we want to fillet. Look at our radius. Radius is about an inch which is probably going to be fine and choose that and there we have now that that's filleted. Now so we can see a little more clearly what we've got We'll just turn off the uh, turn off the the information that is the uh, imported information, which we call non-plot, and we can see that we've got a nice uh, cylinder that sort of re represents a, a caricature, and that's really what we're the the keyword that we're trying to seek here is a caricature of our light fixture, and and we can rather than going into a step-by-step, blow-by-blow detail uh, of the of the building I've pre-built the rest of the geometry again in a similar kind of very simple manner 
and you see that uh, I've got a base and I've got a yoke and I've got a, a separate piece of geometry that I'm going to use to demonstrate ports uh, which are a very important new concept in SPY. So now that we've actually got the geometry it's important that we be able to assign proper IFC a semantic and property data to it. So in this case what I've got is I've got a group I'm going to enter the group and I've got two different shapes in this group. I've got a solid addition which is the main body of my light and I've got a second element which is a solid subtraction which I'm going to be using for port geometry to reflect the, the, uh, the power input for this light fixture. We're going to go in and, and choose our uh, IFC data command and we have a simple list and a full list. Let's just type the word light and we see that we get a nicely filtered list of everything that's got the word light in it and we're going to use the IFC light fixture type. And essentially we're attaching to this, this geometry that we see here the light fixture type uh, data so that the IFC export can recognize it properly. And we can fill out any predefined type that gives us a choice. I'm going to say this is a, a direction source. I can fill out uh, freely enterable uh, text information. Uh, descriptions, etc. I'm going to just choose this one a bit as, as the information I'm going to fill out for this demo. Uh, we also have the ability to, to optionally attach uh, other property sets. Uh, I'll choose not to. Again, I'm just going to stick with the basic light fixture type data set. But property sets can be additionally added to it. We can also do custom property sets, which I won't get into here because that's a bit of a, a technical topic. So what we now have is the IFC data light fixture type attached to this piece of geometry here which is a solid addition. Now I'm going to take the solid subtraction which is the port and I'm going to attach separately IFC data to it and again I'm just going to type port and I'll go to the full list. Here's my IFC port data. So I basically am attaching IFC port data to this piece of geometry here and I'm going to say it's a uh, 120 208 three phase electrical and that's probably not an accurate description but it's free form entry in this case in terms of the description of that. This is the field, the description field is what we used in SPY to describe the, the actual port type. So there I've got my port described, I've got my object described, I'm going to exit the group and so that our exporter can know exactly what the dominant object here is, whether it's a port or whether it's a light fixture type. I'm going to give it a real quick uh, IFC data to the group as well, that sort of container that holds the two. And so I'll attach it to the group as well. And now I'm ready to export. So let's go ahead and, and export this uh, to a IFC file that will be usable by the SPY Endeavor or by anybody who's wanting to create product data uh, for architecture in, uh, in Vectorworks. So I'm going to export IFC project. It's very simple. All I really have to do is do layer mapping it, because it only has one layer. And I'm going to export and I'll just call it light underscore fixture dot IFC. So I'm going to switch over to Solibri Model Checker so we can see the results of our work. And we can see that uh, in fact we've received a, a, a nice um, representation, geometrically correct and data correct of our light fixture including the uh, the actual uh, on one level including the port object which is right here but uh, also uh, looking at it, and the port is not contained in the spatial hierarchy it's actually related to the object itself so uh, it sits out here at the highest at the highest level uh, and then we have the spatial hierarchy which includes the light fixture which is this object here this is normal behavior and, and normal containment data structure for IFC and the way it works with ports. We hope this has been a useful demonstration of using IFC compliant tools to create interoperable product data. We hope that you found this little presentation illuminating both about Vectorworks flexible IFC creation capability and also about SPY. At Nemechek Vectorworks, we are excited about the potential that SPY represents. We think it can be a revolution in construction product data 
one that will streamline not only product information delivery, but also improve design and building lifecycle costing. Please use the links below to find out more about Vectorworks and SPY. Thanks very much.